Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. We're going to try out, or I say try out, we're going to actually play Age of Empires 2, Age of Kings. This is uh, one of the first games, for, for, at least from the PC, that I really, really got into. Um, well, maybe it's more specifically Age of Empires 1, but definitely Age of Empires 2 was, was a huge step up, uh, I believe, in the series, and I really, really got involved with this game a lot. Uh, before that, I had played a lot of, you know, console games, you know, like Mario, uh, Mario and, and games like that on, on Nintendo and things like that. But um, as far as PC, it was Age of Empires, uh, Age of Empires 2, um, some of the early Civ Civilization games. And then um, what was the other one? Oh, oh yeah, of, of course, Warcraft, um, um, like Warcraft 2, I think specifically. Or I can't remember if I played much of the Warcraft 1, but uh, the way I saw it was. Age of Empires, when it came out, was a combination between Warcraft and Civilization, which, you know, it's fairly accurate, I think. It, it, it's a game where you're playing historical RTS as opposed to, you know, obviously the fantasy side of things. Uh, the other thing about Age of Kings that I really, really loved and that I just, just really kind of shaped a lot of my life was the fact that there was a way to actually program the artificial intelligence within this game. Um... There was, uh, you could write scripts or, or I forget, forget which, which it was like, I think it might've just been XML scripts or things like that. Just like XML rules effectively, uh, based on like priorities of, of build orders and, and, you know, unit priorities and, and which units, you know, certain civilizations favored over others and things like that. And I remember back in the day, uh, a buddy of mine and I used to write our own AIs to, to battle each other and, and see how good they would do, um, and so that really, really got me into like kind of, hey, programming and coding and artificial intelligence, stuff like that seems like a really cool thing. And, and ultimately, you know, I went to college to go become a, a a software engineer, which is, you know, kind of what I do today as my day job. So Age of Empires 2, Age of Kings specifically was was uh, just like I said, very, very key in my life. And so it's one that I've been wanting to do a Let's Play of for quite some time, but I just haven't really just circled back around to it. I mean, the fact that they're still developing expansions for this game to this day is just fascinating to me obviously the AD, hd edition came out you know i think a year or two back and uh, they've been throwing expansions at it you know ever since then so my goal is to play through as many of these expansions as i can um and uh, kind of see where we go and I, I will throw some some warnings and some some <laughs> some asterisks here in that um uh, for one i do not play this game probably near as well as i did 15 20 years ago whatever when it first came out you know, in my younger days, if you will, I, uh, my, my actions per minute, you know, were probably much higher and much more, more accurate and whatnot. Um, so I am not a professional RTS player by any stretch of the imagination. Now I have been able to go through all of the Starcraft two, uh, campaigns, um, all three of the, the current ones they have, uh, at the most difficult level. So I know I am capable of playing these games at a high level, at least against an artificial intelligence, because, well, hey, AIs are predictable, and uh, that kind of plays a little bit to me, so I can kind of predict what they're going to do and, and react accordingly. Uh, there is no way in this world that I could play competitively against uh, actual human players. I'm just not quick enough at it. So bear with me if I'm not fast at certain things, if I don't use all the right key binds and hotkeys and stuff like that. For one, I don't remember them. I'm going to have to remember what they are most of the times, but... um. So bear with me a little bit with that. But uh, overall, yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go ahead and get in here. Uh, that's enough uh, preamble to this 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 campaign. Uh, let's get in here and see what's going on. Um, so yeah, we're going to go and start with Age of Kings. I have played through uh, the William Wallace learning campaign. Um, obviously, it's just very easy. It's like, hey, point and click, move here, do that, whatever. It's typical RTS, learn how to play a game type of stuff. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just jump right into Joan of Arc. I am going to try and play this on the hard difficulty. It's probably ridiculously crazy of me. Um, and there might be a few of these uh, matches that I have to, uh, or, or, or stories, or, or what am I going to say, episodes maybe, whatever they are, missions that I might have to, you know, retry at some point. But I figure if I can play through StarCraft at uh, the hardest difficulty, maybe I can get through this one as well. So let's see what happens. From the Journal of Guy Jocelyn, February 19th, Army Camp you near, oh, he's going to say it for me. Camp. This morning, I awoke to visions of fire and steel. These nightmares come more often now that I have seen my beloved France eaten away in years of war. I wandered through camp, ignoring the new snowfall, but observing the wounds and weariness of every soldier under my command. 
observing the desperation in their eyes. It was then that I first saw the girl. She told us that her name was Jean. She told us she was but a peasant who did not know how to ride or fight. She told us that she intended to rescue Franz. The darkness lifted from the men's souls. Her voice rang with conviction and we drank in her every word. I may have lost my faith, but Jean has not lost hers, and that is enough for me. Jean has asked our ragged band of soldiers to take her to Chino, where the rightful ruler of France, the Dauphin, hides from his foes. The war-torn land between them is infested with enemy marauders, and we will lose many men. Death is by now an old companion, but for Jean, we will face it again. All right, and here we go. Um, just real quick, full disclosure, I had to restart the mission, and I'm not going to show you the, the bad one just because, you know, it's no point. Um, uh, so I did actually go ahead and lower the difficulty one level. We're still playing one level above, um, standard. We're playing on the moderate difficulty. Um, uh, but I didn't want to just waste a whole bunch of times just like, you know, failing because of you know, my, my unfamiliarity with the game or, or whatever other reason. So we're going to try moderate. Um, we may eventually come back and do a playthrough on the harder difficulty once I've gotten used to the game again, but I think moderate is going to be fine to get through the story, still make it a little bit more challenging and see what's going on. So let's go ahead and try to escort Joan here. Escorting her from the camp at uh, Vaculaire to the Chateau of Chenon, probably, something like that. Jeanne must survive. Uh, France's enemies are Britain and Burgundy. Reminds me of a little bit of EU4, or I guess maybe CK2. Uh, be on the lookout for their forces. Do not expect much assistance from the demoralized army of France, but be alert for any soldiers who might be inspired to join your army once they see Jeanne. Protect your two knights. They are your best fighters and know the lay of the land. Don't worry about your economy. Just get Jeanne to her destination. Keep an eye on Joan's health. If he gets low, keep her away from dangerous situations. Perfectly fine. All right, so you're going to stay on Control 1. You two guys are going to be Control 2. That way we can um, keep you guys a little, uh, a little more organized. I have heard your claims and believe what you say. We will follow you to Chinon. You guys can stay with Joan, keep her protected. Our knights should be able to do most of the work, I think. Why are you guys not coming together? Just come on. You're annoying me. <laughs> there you go. You must be wary of the road ahead. Our enemies, the British, are out in force, and their Burgundian allies are thick as rats. Discretion is the better part of valor. Wait, you might have need of a few archers on the road ahead. Let's come down this way. Oh, there's some wolves. Let's get rid of those guys. I think these guys heal back up. Yes, they do. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So yeah, we'll definitely use those guys to advance. I don't know if Joan heals back up. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Look at all of them. All the British. These longbowmen. Yeah, elite longbowmen. Onagers. Cavaliers. Yeah. I think they would beat us. A glorious loss for France. I hope you really can turn the tide of this war, Joan of Arc. Alright, we should be safe to come down here now. We're definitely not going to go that direction. I mean, that's the corner of the map anyway, so there's nothing over there. We'll come around this way. Keep on coming, guys. Keep on coming. I don't know if there's much point in diverting from the path. The British must have this right, Go that way. We must find another way to Chinon. Uh, you guys, let's go and start kiting you guys a little bit. Actually, we're going to run up here, take those guys out real quick. Just because they're pinging me from distance. I 
we then playing on hitless travelers? What has become of our homeland? And these guys, we can cut into our archers over here. That worked out pretty good. The guy's a little injured, but he should heal back up. Uh, let's come up this way on the road, see what's up here. Alright, so this is the... Uh, okay, so we need that gate open. Um, let's come up this way. Another guy. Okay. Right, you get a guy to get away from the wolves. Okay. I don't want Joan or anybody to take some silly damage. Greeny, my troops, to be perfectly honest. Come on, finish those guys off. All right. Horsemen, come down here and finish off the wolves. Or at least engage them and I can then send my archers up to shoot them. There we go. All right, come on, horseman. Let's go on. Let's keep it going. Or I guess they're they're knights, not horsemen. I guess from a civilization standpoint, horsemen are are way earlier in the tech tree than knights. All right, what's going on over here? There's more wolves. Let's go ahead and take those guys out. Perfect. Keep on coming, Joan. Keep on coming. Little by little. Oh, there's some yellow, so that's some friendly stuff. Let's go ahead and get into the town, Joan, and see what's going on here. There's a church. That's cool. Too bad we can't make a priest to heal us. <laughs> All right, you guys get together. You guys get together. Uh, control one with you, but actually I'm going to take four of you guys. Or just we'll take the whole group. Pile you guys into the battery ramp because I believe you guys will make it go a little bit faster. I could be wrong. I guess it's just four of them. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so you go control three. It's one, two, th three. All right, three, we're definitely going to need you back over here. So go ahead and get out that direction. Um, horseman, come over here. I think, edge of the map, I think this is something bad. Are you mad? Across a bridge yep. lies a Burgundian castle and many men. Right, so everybody, come over here. Let's make our way down to this, um, this gate. I don't think it adds any strength. I think it just makes them faster. I could be wrong. I honestly don't remember. It's been too long. So tell us like in the tech tree or anything. Um, let's see. I'm not seeing. I'm sure it's right in front of my face. It's gotta be. Oh no, there we go. Battery ram. Uh, garrison infantry and pikemen increase attack speed and attack versus building. Ah, perfect. Cool. Well, then we will. Uh, I'm glad we put those guys in there. Now, I mean, could have, we could have put in some of the regular infantry, um, man at arms, I guess, or the pikemen. I don't know if it really matters one way or the other. It really depends on what kind of units we're going to be facing off against. Oh, yeah, you guys can stay busy there. Actually, you guys come down here. I bet there's some units in here we can draw out. Um, first off, real quick, let's go and make sure you guys are on defensive. You as well. You are already on defensive. 
Let's see if there's anybody we can try out here. Yep, there we go. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's bring you back to our archers. Get you guys back off. You guys go chase down those archers real quick. These long bowmen. Oh, they're just regular archers. Oh, you're trying to get away, huh? But you're on the wrong side of the wall. Oh, there is a tower, but again, we can heal, so I'm not too worried about it. Right, you guys back off a little bit. See if we can draw them out. Come on. Yeah, let's go get them. Well, if you're going to let us come into your, your base. <laughs> I'm in your base killing your dudes. There we go. All right, little nice. Just you know, come over here and start blowing something up. I mean, you're like I said, it's the fact that you can heal up. I'm not too worried about it. Is there a minimum range on this thing? I actually don't remember that being a thing. That's interesting. I think there. You know what? Now that I think about it, I actually think there is. No, stop it, stupid crossbowman. You guys took some damage just now, and y'all really didn't need to. I actually think there is a minimum range because I feel like there was like a. Like for the castles, at least there's something like you could pour tar down or something like that, and get an upgrade for them to to uh, reduce the minimum range or something like that. Come on, you guys are taking your sweet time. You guys are gonna have it done by the time you get over there. Uh, not quite. <laughs> I mean, you're hitting it pretty hard, but this battery ram can go over there and take like two shots and finish it off. Right, dude, guys, stop it. Stop being dumb. Or I guess I should say I should stop being dumb. Battery ram definitely will not take near him as much archery damage, so I actually think I lost a unit there. That was silly. Actually, I don't want you guys going there. You guys come up this way. Uh, yeah, go ahead and blow that up just in case they can spawn more units. I actually don't know if that's true or not. Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, four. Maybe we didn't lose one, but we did take some damage, which is bad. No, no, stupid guy, stop going over there. Right, you know what? Stand your ground. You guys are not going to go chasing nothing right now. I can't trust you. All right. Cav, move up this way. Infantry, come over here. Um, just kind of go right there. What I am going to do is I'm going to move you guys over here. You guys, how about you just busy yourself there? Uh, Joan, I'm actually going to move you back. I think I just want to make sure we don't get into like any trouble. Come on, Joan. Pretty strong. But, you know what, in fact, we're going to give you a control four. You're going to head over in the corner. All right, you're going to go see if there's anything up here we can draw out. Well, let's kill these wolves real quick. Uh, battery ram, we're not going to need you up there. You can come over here with Joan. In fact, what we can do is... Unload you, right? Yeah, there we go. Ungarrison. So you guys get up there. Together. All you guys stand your ground for now. Come on, I want you to kind of line up in two different groups. This ambuscat ambush, I'm assuming. Let's lead these guys into our troops. Got some pikemen now. Alright, there we go. Perfect. Ooh, a bunch of troops. Bunch of troops. Oh, and some pikemen. Not so good. So I mean, a horseman having to run away. Although I do still want to make sure they're interested. 
Okay, still coming. Maybe not. There you go. Come on. Keep on coming. I know you like the horsemen. Come on. Keep on coming. It's only three of them? I'll take it. Oh, those swordsmen. Let's see if we can do a little bit of focus, focus shooting. Right, I think there's everything. Just about. Oh, no, there's one more. Oh, there's a couple more. Jumping on my horsemen. That's all right. Uh, you guys get up there. Get on those guys. All right, we lost a little bit more there. No coming. Is any more up here? Yeah, there's more. Goodness. I don't know if I keep training or not. Make sure my archers take out those pikemen before they can do things to our horsemen. You guys go back on defensive for now. Just to make sure you're firing back. Okay, come on. Are you still training units troops or something like that? Is that what my problem is? Uh, I think that's everything. Alright, it's not quite, but I think we can bring Joan up now. I think it is safe to get her up to this flag. Come on, Joan. And very, very slow battleground because I don't have any troops in you, but that's all right. Now, I don't know if we're supposed to be building up stuff here or what's supposed to happen here. So we'll see once we get her up here. I bet we take this town. We have to build some forces up to go after them or something like that. Or not. I'm actually not sure. Maybe we aren't supposed to do anything here. What's over here? Ah, there we go. Ah, we just get some transports. That's what we get. Alrighty. Um, tend to just to kind of move you guys around before I do anything, just because I want to make sure we're not about to get stomped on. All right, so scorpions. Are those guys good against troops? Scorpions. Uh, large masses because shot damage multiple targets. Weak versus nearby units. So I kind of want to keep you guys with my other troops. So what I'm probably going to do is grab you guys. Let's see. Because you guys and you guys can be control group one. It's kind of my melee stuff. Um, you guys can still be my control group two. That's going to be fine. I want to make you guys all control group three, though. My ranged. And Joan. Can you actually get inside there? Sure, why not? Maybe that'll keep you safe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you just die faster. <laughs> Uh, let's get a couple more guys in there. A couple of these weaker guys. They're almost dead. Get in there. Uh, let's see. You look like the weakest of all of these. Alright, so there's one, two, three, and four. So two, get over here. Because you guys can scout out. 
All right. Hello, highwayman. I'll go over here and get these archers out. Because then I can lead the rest of the guys into some of my troops. Let's lead you guys up here. Twos come up here, threes get up and get ready to engage them. Go ahead and take him out. Come on. Highwayman defeated. Nice. All right. Uh, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Come on. Run away. Run away. Run away. Seriously, dudes. That catapult coming up here is going to stomp on you. Right, get away. You go up and get the catapult. Seriously, guys, get out of the way from the catapult. Y'all being dumb. Y'all do not move very fast. Way too much damage there. That's what I said about not being very good at the macro or the the, the, the actions per minute and stuff. Plus, I keep hitting my two, which is my uh, my horses. They're supposed to attack, and I kept retreating them with everything else. Maybe I should have made them one. All right, what do we got going on up here? What is my plan of attack? Maybe nothing. I assume there was someone I had to attack up here, right? If I start attacking this, bring some guys out. Oh, I can't attack this. Never mind. Is this friendly? Was I wrong? I thought this was enemy. Oh, this is friendly. I've been like freaking out that there was something bad over here all the whole time. Come on, guys, let's go. Right, I'm guessing we can just run you all the way up to there. In fact, we're going to go ahead and just eject you. Uh... Oh, you have to be able next to open land. There we go. Because I'm assuming you run faster than the... Probably run faster than the uh, thing he does. Hey, a trebuchet. I could have used that earlier. Oh, look. A priest that's healing us. Why, thank you, good priest. Come on, Joan. Let's go. You're being very slow. The Chateau of the Dauphin. The Dauphin will see you now. now. Alright, well there we go. Victorious. It took a little bit longer than it should have because I was playing patty cake with a, uh, <laughs> a single ship in the middle of the water that I thought I could defeat. But obviously I uh, was not meant to. So, had I not done that, this I could have finished this 10 minutes ago probably. Um, but yeah, uh, there's our first mission. Well, I do appreciate you watching. I hope you join me again for some more missions of this. I, I'm really looking forward to this. This is a lot of fun for me. Um, so I do. Thank you again. Uh, if you like this type of stuff, uh, please feel free to give me a, a, you know, a like or thumbs up or just a comment. If you don't like it, I mean, I'll take a thumbs down too. whatever. I mean, just, just so I know the direction that, that you guys feel, but I do appreciate you watching. Thank you and goodbye. John's footsteps echo down the marble tower of the chateau. The fat and whispering dukes did not but stare. The 
Dauphin himself seemed afraid as she kissed his feet. My gentle Dauphin, she demanded, why does England claim what is ours? Why are you not crowned King of France as is your right? The courtiers began to murmur. The Chamberlain whispered lies into the Dauphin's ear, but the Dauphin pushed the Chamberlain away and rose to meet Jean's gaze. She stands only to the shoulder of the shortest man, but all of us must look up to speak to her. I know not what silent conversation passed between the Dauphin and his would-be savior, but it was obvious that his majesty was in the same thrall as we.